Hey everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a crucial piece of equipment in the pharmaceutical industry, the Carl Fisher titrator. What is a Carl Fisher titrator? First up, what exactly is a Carl Fisher titrator? Named after its inventor, Carl Fisher, this analytical device measures the water content in a sample with high accuracy. This is vital in pharmaceuticals because even a tiny amount of moisture can impact drug stability, efficacy, and safety. The most important point, keep titration stand tightly sealed. Protect titration stand, solvent bottle and waste bottle with molecular sieves or silica gel. Change silica gel and molecular sieves every month. Silica gel can be regenerated at 150 degrees Celsius, molecular sieves at 300 degrees Celsius. Perform a concentration determination daily. Perform a drift measurement several times a day. Now, let's break down the main parts of the Carl Fisher titrator, electrode system, this includes the working and reference electrodes. They're crucial for the titration process, as they help measure the electrical changes during the titration. Titration cell, this is where the reaction happens. The sample is placed here, and it's filled with the Carl Fisher reagent. Reagent dispenser. It precisely adds the Carl Fisher reagent to the sample. This reagent reacts with water to produce a measurable electrical signal. Sample introduction system. This might be an automatic sample changer or a manual injection system. It ensures accurate and consistent sample handling, control unit, the brain of the operation. This digital interface controls the titration process, processes data, and displays results, printer or data output for recording and printing results, ensuring you have a detailed record of each analysis. Calibration of a Carl Fisher titrator, prepare calibration standards, use moisture standards with a known water content. These are often pre-prepared solutions or solids, run calibration, follow the manufacturer's instructions to start the calibration process. Typically, this involves running the standards through the titrator and adjusting the system until the readings match the known values. Verify accuracy. After calibration, check the accuracy by running additional standards to ensure consistent results. How to use a Carl Fisher titrator for liquid sample. How to use a Carl Fisher titrator for liquid sample. Fill a quarter of the syringe with sample. Pull up plunger. Rinse syringe with sample by shaking it. Empty syringe and sample into waste bottle. Fill syringe with sample wipe needle with paper towel. Place syringe with sample on the balance. Tear to zero. Starting titration method. Press run. Inject sample into titration cell, either through the hole in TH3 hole adapter or through a septum stopper. Pull back plunger so that the drop at the tip of the needle flows back into the needle. Otherwise, when the syringe is removed the drop will adhere to the septum. Place syringe with sample on balance and back way. Enter weight on titrator or have it transferred. Start titration. For solid sample wait until drift value is stable. Weigh sample into weighing boat, tear balance to zero, starting titration method, press run, add sample to titration cell, care, sample must not adhere to the electrode or the beaker wall, back weigh empty weighing boat, enter weight on titrator or have it transferred, start titration. In Carl Fisher titration, the key chemical used is Carl Fisher reagent, a specialized solution that reacts specifically with water. The reagent is usually a mixture of the following components. Iodine, I2 acts as the oxidizing agent in the reaction with water, sulfur dioxide, SO2 serves as a reducing agent and helps to stabilize the iodine, imidazole or pyridine, functions as a base to maintain a stable pH environment and to facilitate the reaction, methanol or ethanol, used as the solvent to dissolve the reagent and to help in the reaction process. Why these chemicals are used. The combination of these chemicals allows Carl Fisher titration to achieve high precision and accuracy in determining the water content in various substances. This is especially critical in industries like pharmaceuticals, where even minute variations in moisture content can significantly impact product quality and stability. Why is the Carl Fisher titrator so important in the pharmaceutical industry? First, it ensures drug stability. Too much or too little moisture can affect a drug's effectiveness and safety. Second, it helps in compliance with regulatory standards. Accurate moisture measurement is often required by regulatory bodies to ensure drug quality.
and third, it improves product quality. By accurately measuring moisture content, pharmaceutical companies can produce more reliable and consistent products. Thanks for watching, that's it for today's video on Carl Fisher titrators. If you found this information useful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on lab equipment and scientific techniques. Have any questions or topics you want us to cover? Drop them in the comments below.